in the words of the head coach. Florida State winning the toss deferring to the second half. The Tigers will have the football first. And they'll start off first down and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Q responsible for five touchdowns. Mm. Fourth of the year, one on the ground. Looking to pass on second and eight into the flat. Completes it to Maffa, who's going to be pushed out of bounds. Three receivers out to the top of the screen. Glenn checks it down. Tofili made one guy miss. And they're going to spot it at the 31 yard line. A pickup of three on the play. On the recruiting trail and for their current players. Second and eight. Pass is caught at the 32 yard line. Stellato. The only thing is you can't make those field level sweeps too nice. <laughs> yeah. Here's Klubnik with a nice run out near midfield. Slides in right at midfield. Nice, and uh, <laughs> people aren't going to want to sit in their seats, but how about Kate Klubnik on this one? The fake and then the cutback. This is, I think he's really improved. He First and 10. Stilato, Stilato hit right away. Nolan Hoosier into an attempt this field goal from 26 yards out. And he knocks it through to make it 3-0 for the Tigers. Daniel, anytime legend. Gotta, anytime you got to write a check and give some money away, it's a good thing. Mascromano, there's a flag down on the punt. Williams feels it his own 20. Found an alley, still on his feet. And returns it 23 yards out to the 43. Looking at second and nine for Clemson. Klubnik with plenty of time. Found his man in the seam. It's caught. Williams, touchdown Clemson. Fifty-seven yards on the strike. The catch and run. And it's six-nothing for the Tigers. Kate Klubnik has an eternity, but this is like a it's like the old 710 split when you're at the yeah. bowling alley. You hit the one pin, it yeah. hits the other pin, and your bowling ball goes right into yeah. the end zone. Brock Glenn making his first start at quarterback for Florida State. Gets it out quickly, complete on the receiver screen in a big hit made on Ja'Kai Douglas. Seminoles leading receiver, a gain of two. Make an accurate catch. That's what these receivers have to do, and that's something that you learn over the course of time. Take a little space, and there's an interception. Picked off Terrell. And the Tigers with the game's first turnover. They'll start with great field position on the Seminole side of midfield. So it, the, the interception is going to happen to the top of the screen. Go ahead and run it, guys. And it looks like Brock Glenn frees it right here. Brock Glenn thinks that this receiver is going to be in here. There's nobody around in the area where he throws it. And it's the easiest interception for any defensive back. It's uncontested. A young quarterback not being on the same page as his receiver. And Avion Terrell, I mean, he's looking like, wow. hey, man, I'll, I'll take it. Didn't even have to use that you're on. And then fading at the last minute, Kate Klubnik didn't really give him a chance there. The ball thrown out of bounds. Klubnik going to use his legs here on the option. Made a great move and put his hat down and made it down to the 35. And he's slow to get up. Second and 12. They set up the screen complete. And on the fly, more. Giving you more. Touchdown, Tigers. Pass of the season for Vizina. And more. Pardon me, Klubnik back in the ball game. The backup quarterback, Luke Kromenhawk, in the ball game. They hand it off to Toa Feely. Brought down by Khalil Barnes, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. 17-0. Williams splits to the top of your screen. Klubnik comes the other way underneath, complete. Wesco tackled at about the 15-yard line. Brought down by Thomas, and Clemson calls timeout after the 10-yard pickup. Second and nine. Glenn, clean pocket. Wide open underneath. Oh. Thomas on the move. Inside the 30. First and 10. Seminoles like a breath of fresh air. Thomas had a third quarter touchdown catch last week in that loss against SMU. 
Glenn gets it out quickly. Complete. That's Williams, but there's a flag down. He's down near the first down marker. Glenn into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. What a grab by Williams. Williams, the tight end on the right on the side of your screen. It's a little skinny post. First and ten for Clemson coming back the other way now. Lubnick has a whole bunch of real estate in front of him. And he runs out of bounds near midfield. They're going to spot it at the 48-yard line, and that is a dimension. And the defensive line has to maintain integrity in the rush lanes. You can't get up above the quarterback. Yes. Lubnick over the middle. Caught! Down at the 28-yard line. What a grab by Antonio Williams. On the end around. This is Stilato. Turns those shoulders north-south. Second and 16. Klubnik sacked. Back at the 32. Cam Riley, number 18, getting a lot of playing time today because DJ Lundy, not in the game, just shoots past the center. Ryan Linthicum is able to wrangle Cade Klubnik down. And after the big play to Williams and the big run by Cade Klubnik, now this Florida State defense has two negative plays. Hoosier from 38 yards out. Oh, they blocked it. Got a piece coming off the edge. 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN in the app. Week 5 Monday Night Football matchup. A great one for you. Featuring the Chiefs and Saints. 8 Eastern ESPN. The Portes jointly honor work done. A member of the 2024 College Football Hall of Fame class. Congrats. Pass complete to Bryant Wesco. Got a glimpse of Garrett Riley, the offensive coordinator on the sidelines. Klubnik pulls it out downfield into a tight window caught incredibly at the 25 yard line what a grab by josh sap no it was it was barely cracked that goes it looked like it went between the arms mm. florida state defender ashlyn baker i mean that's putting it in a keyhole mm. that is pinpoint accuracy and how about the cat hoosier from 38 And gets this one inside the right upright as we head back to the studio on this big day of college football. Klubnik hands it off to Maffa. And the big bruising burly back makes it out to the 30 and beyond. Maffa with nowhere to go. A blockade up front led by Patrick Payton. At the football family, his mom, Alexandra Moore, expressing gratitude on X or Twitter. It's taken an emotional toll. Great to see TJ get in the end zone for his family today. Yeah, fantastic moment. Third and 13. Pass complete. Out to the edge. That's Wesco. You know, don't miss this, folks. Don't miss this. Third and 10. Klubnik. Quick three-step drop and fires a completion to Brennan Stuhl in a timeout called by the Tigers. Nolan Hoosier. Hoosier with the 25-yard field goal, which is good. And that's going to be the end of the first half of play. The two-minute drill, meeting new challenges. And keeping their momentum. Seminoles keep it on the ground on second and 12. That was Cam Davis. We've seen Davis. We've seen Toa Field. Glenn gets rid of it quickly. Completed the 40. And a first down catch and run by Williams. You're up for Brock Glenn, giving him an easy read. Knows exactly where to go with the football. And Hakeem Wood. Of course, his dad, an NFL pro back in the day. On the play action, they set up the screen to the tight end, Brian Courtney. 
They're going to throw it. Complete. And they move the chains. A huge confidence builder for Mike Norvell's offense, Roddy. Tigers drop a bunch of cover people. Keep everything in front of them. Landon Thomas makes the catch. <laughs> I got a price too. It might just be one comma. But <laughs> Second and eight. Klubnik surveys. Finds his man at the 27-yard line. That's Jay Haynes out of the backfield. Still on his feet. Across the 29 for the first down. The SEC... Less margin for error, right. I think, when it comes to the college football playoff, particularly if Notre Dame's involved, one of those at-large spots. Klubnik completes it out to the 39-yard line. Brennan Stuhl. Third and eight. On the out. Caught at the 11-yard line. Cole Turner contorted his body and made the grab to pick up 13 and a first down display of body control by Cole Turner going up to the inside catching the ball getting down in bounds who's there got it blocked again for the second time tonight the Seminoles snuff a field goal attempt inside that had the block before as well before it came off the edge but Patrick Payton able to get that big, long arm up in the air and block the field goal. Glenn over the middle in traffic and got it in. Another dart, a laser. Says they've converted both times on fourth down tonight. Some sunshine. Hey, man, half full. Not half empty. Not yet. Glenn. Nice pump fake, tucks it under. Going to try and make it on his own. Oh, he did the self-checkout. Did it himself and got the first down. And just his, his moxie, there's something to him. Third and four. Four down territory, throws a dart. Complete to Hakeem Williams, still on his feet. And down within the shadow of the 10-yard line. Morlock in motion, now sets. Pulls it out in the end zone touchdown seminoles jakai douglas jakai douglas just beats his man inside and a nice throw on the money by brock glenn and now florida state in a situation point attempt glenn fires incomplete and it remains a 10-point margin intended from. Between the tackles, they gash that front. Maffa on the move. Phil Maffa kicking in the turbo and all the way down to the 15. That's how you take the steam out of the Seminoles defensively. 59 yards. Offensive line for Clemson does a phenomenal job of establishing a hole that any of us could have run through for some yardage. Phil Moffa takes it for long yardage. It's good hustle by Fintrell Cypress tracking him down. I'm not sure Shaheen Brown would have got. Who's there? Knocks this one through from 31. Second and 10 coming up. Brock Glenn going through his progression and got sacked before he had time to throw it by T.J. Parker, one of their best pass rushers. In Phoenix City, Alabama. A lot of good ones out of there. And another sack. They're going to say that he might have been down first as this. On first and 10, Antonio Williams turns the corner and picks up another first down all the way down to the 30-yard line. He promised. Might not like this scoreboard right now. As the Tigers knock through another field goal, this one from 24 yards out. Today to SMU, as Louisville's going to fall out of the top 25. And you have the potential of like a Pittsburgh peeking in, Pittsburgh sitting there undefeated after its win today against, and knowledge as they go. Because it, it feels like it's going to be his team for at least a little while.
Here he is doing it himself, sliding in at the 26-yard line, and that's going to do it. The clock hits zero.